It's Jay Stephanie with Levinson and Stephanie here in Chicago. Today on our sort of how we use Filevine setup, now uh, I'm going to run through how we keep track of liens and unpaid bills on our cases. So I sort of have it take a look real quick to add an item. So I set it up. You've got our lien holder. Sometimes there's a separate, you know, third party administrator for the recovery agency. And if there's a specific agent uh, or adjuster attached to it, just keep track of all of those. Lean type, I'm a drop down, drop down box fan for these. Uh, these are the key ones we use. You know, if it's a case loan, insurance, that uh, could be med pay, uh, PIP. It could be, you know, health insurance. I have a separate one for Medicaid, Medicare, uh, an unpaid medical bill. So this would be something, whether it's a lean or unleaned, unpaid bill uh, from a particular provider, workers' compensation, and then sort of a catch-all for other. Put down what the initial amount is and the final amount, what it gets negotiated down to. Even if it's the same amount, we want to fill this in. We'll get into that uh, in a minute. Whatever the lien reference number is, uh, you know, if a letter of representation has been sent by us, if we got a notice of lien, you know, when we sent it, when we got it, we can do a lien reduction request, generate a letter here, uh, and it pulls the information from up here uh, to fill that out. Uh, when we get it actually reduced, put in specifically for who the payee is, that goes on the check. Because remember, it could be something different based on you know, if the lien uh, holder is the actual one we're dealing with, or if there's a third party administrator. This also will help with a doc gen that we'll get into in a sec. Pay same thing with the payment address fee that'll go into a doc gen, and we'll show that here uh, in a minute. So I sort of set it up sort of sort of smart field wise, depending on the type of lien. So pretty much all of them are going to use this basic layout, except for Medicare. If you choose Medicare, it's a little more streamlined. Uh, one of the only times you'll use streamlined with Medicare. So we still have, you know, the initial amount and the final amount. We use the Medicare client's Medicare number. So this gets put in as soon as we know it is a Medicare eligible client. Uh, we keep that in here as well. Once that case ID or case number gets assigned, we put that in here and we'll have multiple documents here that'll generate for Medicare. Uh, and then the rest is sort of similar. Um, and we'll get into some examples here so you can get a little better sense of it. So for example, this one I've sort of filled out with an insurance uh, that we've set up. They have a lien. It was initially 5,000. We got it third reduction. We have this information down here, who the payee is, where it's being sent. And that lien payment letter, uh, doc gen, I told you, give you an idea of what it looks like. And we would print this on our letterhead, hence the gap at the top. And it just fills in that addressee and where we're sending it. It's going to fill in there. That's why we have from that other field, you know, this will pull in the client's name, that lien reference number, the final amount that we're paying it to or where we're paying. And then the payee is going to go here. And then it just pulls in down here, whoever the first primary is on the case, it'll pull in the letters from them. Uh, so that's kind of a real straightforward, easy doc gen to set up and use. As you can imagine, when you've got cases where you've got a bunch of lien letters, lien payment letters that are going out, it makes it a lot easier for whoever's handling that initial disbursement. Uh, the other nice thing to sort of confirm who the payee is, is whoever's creating your checks, they can go in here and know exactly without question who they're paying it to. Medicare setup, you'll see is a little more involved. Um, also, all the documents will save down here. In the other lien, set, uh, lien types where it'll have the regular documents, they all will automatically get the hashtag lien. So that end, it'll go into the liens subfolder in the docs tab. For Medicare, it'll get hashtag liens, go into the liens subfolder. It will also get hashtag Medicare. 
just makes it a little easier to sort through and find things. So some of these doc gens, you'll notice here for Medicare, you know, to open a claim, it's got our real standard, you know, it pulls up on our letterhead, who it's going to, pulls all that information that Medicare needs at the start, you know, name, address, what their Medicare number is, date of birth, date of loss, you know, puts the date of incident down here, fills our client's name in here. You have this highlighted because obviously someone needs to go in, even though the doc gen is great, this still needs to get filled in. And then again, the primary is name. Another couple other ones that we do, you know, request a conditional payment summary. Um, you know, we have the proof of rep that Medicare needs. This will automatically fill it out. There's not a lot to it other than filling in, obviously, client's name, their Medicare number, and the date of the incident. And then we can just easily get this over uh, via Vine sign to have our client sign it, get it back to us so we can send it out. When we get the case resolved, that final detail doc that Medicare requires, we've got it here. And I just basically put their images over here. Uh, it fills in the basic information, pulls right off of our lien tab for Medicare, pulls in the amount from our resolution tab, the gross settlement amount, pulls in gross attorney's fees from the resolution tab, pulls in the expenses total from our expenses tab, date of settlement from our, again, this is from our resolution tab, and then we can fill in here uh, as we go along for whatever we need. And then it would go along with the generated final demand letter that we can also run as a doc gen. Again, it's pulling all of this information straight out of the field from the card that we have set up for Medicare. One last little aspect uh, that we do that pulls from the data that we get from our liens section that is nice to have is a report and you click this button here and it's going to generate a report that you'll see here and it just lists you've got a line for each individual lien the lien holder's name the lien type the initial amount final amount the initial total the final total and then what is really important to be able to highlight for the client we give this report to them along with their disbursement package. Um, they get this page, which shows them, here's what we saved you through negotiations on your liens. And that's something we've gotten really positive feedback from our clients. It's a nice thing that they can see and it sort of makes it a little more <laughs> worthwhile. I know it's a lot of times it's a uh, countless thankless hours uh, we spend after we resolve a case negotiating down all of these liens for our clients, but being able to put it in a report like this really nicely highlights to the client what we've done for them. So again, this is how we have our liens and unpaid bills section set up uh, in Filevine. Uh, like always, I am happy to uh, answer any questions. I'd love to hear how you do it differently, maybe better. Uh, always looking to improve. Any questions, don't hesitate. Reach out. Uh, and if you're watching this on uh, our YouTube channel, feel free to like or subscribe uh, so you can always get these. Try and do these as, as often as I can. Uh, but anything we can do to help, thanks.